were already dating for two years. I already knew he was the one. And we're like, is this it? You know? Yeah. Well, no matter what, we have to find another young okay? <laughs> Now we're married. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Yes, this is my channel. This is me, <laughs> the girl who rarely posts oh, okay. videos now. Hi, and this is Gaius, my new husband. My new husband. <laughs> the old one left. No, too tired. Brand new, new arrival. Yeah, this is the first video as official husband and wife that we're posting on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Please await our official wedding video still being edited. Pretend that never happened. Huh? Uh. <laughs> Pretend it's already up before this video, but this is a video that I've been promising you guys since our last relationship Q&A. Banyak yang bilang, ayo dong Ci, sharing tentang yang beda agama itu. What made you change your mind? What made you convert your religion? Soalnya aku tahu banyak dari kalian ada kebimbangan yang sama. Yeah. I think that's like such a common problem now. Yeah. yeah. I've heard so many friends ask the same thing. Mm -hmm. And those are just friends. Imagine like the general, the public. general public. Like in the US, it would be more chill, I think. More people are not as religious, I would say. But in mm -hmm. Indonesia, once you're a different religion, it's like very difficult for the family to accept. Usually, mm -hmm. it's not always like that. It's because of like the collective or the individualistic mindset, right? Here, we're very like family group oriented. If you enter our family, that means you enter everything that encompasses our family. Whereas in the States is like you're just marrying that one person. So for me, I grew up being okay with marrying someone of a different religion. I grew up in a Buddhist household and my family was also chill. If you marry a different religion guy, it's all good. But because I met him and his family wanted him to marry a Christian girl, so then that was where differences lie. But it's all good. I think in the beginning we were like, oh frick. Mm -hmm. Since this is a religion video, I'm not gonna say the F word. <laughs> But now it all worked out, and so we can make this video. This is the moment we've been waiting for, right, guys? <laughs> anyway, iklan dulu. Sengaja nggak pakai lip tint. Sengaja kelihatan datar bibirnya. Eh, hey, don't you say that? Walau we. No, 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 no. And order mad cocoa. Yes. <laughs> order mad cocoa. Sekarang. Oh wait, 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 wait. Antorio, ya. Yeah. Antorio. <laughs> Very different from when we first started our YouTube channel, yeah. yeah. Sekarang kita udah jadi business people, jadi harus adsense nya itu masuk ke Torio, Mad Coco, Second Date, Body, ya kan? Anyway, let's begin with the questions. Reaksi dua keluarga gimana, Ci? Jadi sebenarnya kalau boleh pilih, tadinya tuh aku nggak pengen ganti agama karena walaupun agama itu dulunya penting ya di hidupku, tapi aku bukan orang yang religious religious amat. Soalnya menurut aku Buddhism is something that That is a principle of life. It's how you can live your life, the morals, karma baik dan lain-lain. It's not really something yang kayak kalau misalnya kamu bukan Buddhis, kamu akan masuk neraka. Bukan yang kayak something scary seperti itu gitu loh. Jadi kalau di agama Buddhis tuh walaupun kamu sama yang beda agama, fine fine aja gitu. Jadi I was always chill with it. But when we got in a relationship and it started getting serious because he's from the Christian family who actually really prioritizes the partner to be the same religion. Religion, then that was when I was like, oh my gosh. And we were already... Oh my gosh, what? I mean... Oh my god. Kamu boleh oh my god juga, babe. Ini religion family. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, gosh darn it. We were already dating for two years. I already knew he was the one. He already knew I was the one. Everything was perfect in our relationship. We never fight. We were just super in love. Everything was good. Jadi, di saat keluarganya bilang, aku harus ganti agama, dan karena hubungan kami nggak ada masalah apapun, kami tuh bersih keras gak mau putus. Soalnya kalau kita putus, kita berasa kayaknya nggak akan bisa move on. Kalau misalnya putusnya karena salah satu dari kita toxic atau ada masalah yang benar-benar within our relationship, ya udah putus bisa cari yang lebih baik. Tapi ini tuh aku tuh yakin banget he's the best for me and I'm the best for him. So we were like, remember babe, we were in the lobby. Yeah, it was really sad. We were crying. We were like, is this it? You know. Yeah, we were like. We even walked like one more round, like around where we live. We were crying. Yeah. All the geese were on yeah, the pond. We're walking around we were, like this looking lake. at the geese, and yeah. then we were like, do we have to break up? That because we couldn't find a solution. solution, so we played around with the idea of breaking up for like five <laughs> minutes, <laughs> and then once we were like, oh yeah, yeah, putus aja kali ya, and then we were like, ah! we <laughs> that's exactly it, dude. Yeah, and then I remember we were like this, hold yeah. my shoulder. Just so we ended up in the lobby, yes. and we were like this, 
Pokoknya, we nggak boleh break up ya. And we're like, okay, let's just try it. Yeah. yeah, pokoknya no matter what, we have to find a solution, okay? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you don't smile, yeah. you have to acting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we're married. <laughs> so, you might ask, what was the solution? We go to the next part. Kenapa kakak yang pindah agama bukan guys tanggapan dari masing-masing keluarga? Jadi setelah kita nangis-nangis di lobby, akhirnya solusinya adalah aku berusaha untuk pergi ke gereja selama setahun and I'll see how I feel. Karena dari keluarga aku kan nggak apa-apa kalau dia Kristen, tapi di keluarga dia yang butuh aku jadi Kristen. Jadi ya mau nggak mau harus aku yang pergi ke gereja untuk coba-coba melihat bagaimana ya perasaanku. Tapi ada sedikit masalah nih. Soalnya sebelumnya aku tuh sekolah di sekolah Kristen. Sayangnya gue guru-guru aku, mereka tuh tipe yang force religion down your throats memaksa banget, lalu mereka suka menjelek-jelekan agama lain kadang tuh pas aku di kelas agama di sekolah ya, mereka tuh bisa bilang kayak, buddhis itu dari neraka kayak biksu itu tuh sebenarnya dari neraka kayak gitu-gitu loh guys jadi menurut aku masa iya aku mau ngikutin agama yang membenarkan kebencian so it was a really really difficult internal struggle for me so I didn't wanna change religion cuma ganti KTP aja soalnya memang keluarganya pengennya aku tuh beneran percaya dan beneran mencintai Tuhan I can't just click a switch and be like, I'm Christian now. So when I went to church in America, we went every weekend. Honestly, I cried a lot secretly. I was like, I don't think I can do this. But the church that we went to actually was really good and quite open-minded. They weren't the type that made me feel like they were talking badly about other religion. They were quite accepting, quite loving. So from there, my mindset started changing. But I knew that I had to open my heart karena Hatiku tuh kayak kenceng banget dan kayak my walls were up gitu loh. But for me, I think it stemmed from my love and respect for Gaius because Gaius is one of the most logical and wise people I know in my life. And if Gaius believes in this religion that much, it must be something good. And the thing is, he acts like how a good Christian would act. He's kind and patient and loving to everyone around him. So. You have to make these jokes in the middle of a very serious conversation. Later, my mom's speech ah uh, got brought up again. If you don't love her anymore, don't beat her. If one day you don't love her anymore, don't beat her. Just tell me, I will take her back. Oh. So every time I felt like giving up, I would think back to our loving relationship and also this loving man. And through my journey, I actively seek out my friends who were Christians, but Christians that I respected mm. and are open-minded. So one of them was Tina, Tina Gracia, and I went on a lot of one-on-one -on -one lunches with her. I went to her church, I met her church friends, and they were all super open-minded, and I asked them so many questions. I challenged them. I was like, kenapa kayak gini, 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 gini? This doesn't make sense to me, can you explain it to me? And they all answered in a very patient way and in a way that made me feel at peace and didn't make me feel like they hate other religions. They just love their so much and they love their God. Gitu. Jadi, mm. From there, they taught me to focus on the love of God or God's love to us instead of our fear of God. How we need to be Christian or else we go to hell. Kayak gitu -gitu tuh terlalu kayak yeah. menyeramkan gitu loh. Because I think a lot of people when they think about like Bible verses they only think about like the thou shall not this thou yeah. shall not this but Dang. that's not the only thing you know yeah and also we kind of like struck a compromise like saying that i would move to indo and you would try to become christian and explore that possibility so at least we were both trying at something yeah mm. during this process because for me staying in indonesia was very important mm. and then for him the christianity thing was very important so from there, we were like, Hey, bro, Aye. let's do it! <laughs> now we can joke about it, yeah. but at that moment, we were like, Okay! <laughs> no, at the moment, there wasn't even a handshake, bro. No, it wasn't a handshake. Joking. How are you adjusting in your life now with a new religion? Was there guilt from converting? I guess there was guilt in the beginning, but not from the religion part, more from my family. So my mom was very, very pissed and felt like it was very unfair. How come I was the one that had to change? But again, nobody knows your relationship more than you and your partner. So no matter how much I had to explain to my 
mom that he was a perfect man for me like we are so in love blah 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 she still was very adamant against it in the beginning but that only lasted like a month or two and then she talked to my dad she talked to my brothers and I think they talked some sense into her and they were like as long as Titan is happy you know that's what matters and it's true you know sometimes you have to prioritize and compromise so I was very surprised because the next time I met my mom was when my parents came to America to visit us and she was like all chill about it she was like okay if you're gonna do this I want you to do this full on I want you to go to church I want you to try to believe in Jesus because I want a religion to make your life better and I want you to actually follow it and gak setengah-setengah kayak gitu jadi my mom itu I respect her and my dad so much for letting down their ego and putting our happiness in top priority so that took a lot of conversations between my mom and me as well so that worked out and how am I adjusting now with my new religion? I definitely believe in Christianity and in God but there are definitely some things that I'm still struggling with like some of the Bible verses I feel like are a little bit outdated and I don't 100% agree with so I'm still in the process which is why I don't really talk about being Christian a lot because I'm still in the process of learning and I think that's normal as a human you grow and even as a Christian born person like I'm sure you also have your own struggles with becoming a Christian even though you've been a Christian for like almost 30 years yeah. but we all have our own discovery process Do I worry about what other people think? Not really Actually it hasn't even crossed my mind <laughs> until you just asked me I think there really isn't much to worry about because this is quite like a personal thing I would say Yeah and it's something that me and Dita has tried to talk to each other and tried to solve through the years of our relationship so really all the chit chat that's outside I honestly don't care yeah and that's how we have really kept our relationship very healthy because we keep it between you and I even when we sometimes bicker about things yeah that's not about religion we don't really complain to our friends yeah I know I mean, we do, but after it's done, I do. Sometimes I'll be like, oh my god, guys, when my mom come I took my laptop. But like, very small things, that's a joke type thing, see. But if it's about like, the issues that we're still going through, I never talk to my friends about it, see. Mm. Because I don't want to hear opinions from other people. Yeah, unless it's like something that really defines the marriage or something, you know. Then it's okay to like, seek advice maybe from your close friends. We've that's... never been through that scene. Yeah, we've never but maybe been through that, so... in the future, if there's something that we need advice from, yeah. maybe a therapist. But I don't think I would yeah. ask my friends because no one knows our relationship. That's true. And it's even hard for a therapist actually yeah. to judge, honestly. But unrelated, I, 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 we are planning to do couples therapy maybe yeah. once in three months or something. So we want to start therapy even before anything goes wrong because we don't want to fix what's broken, but we want to maintain what's already good. So it's like a car. We are a perfectly working car now. You have to maintain it every few months, right? You don't mm. want to wait till it's completely broken, then go to therapy. <laughs> a lot of people ask, have I really felt the goodness of God? Do I really believe in God? Yes, I really do believe and I do feel the goodness of God. I think that's one of the reasons why I am very peaceful. No, no, not very peaceful. <laughs> that one lie. <laughs> I meant I am more peaceful and a lot more grateful for my life now. One of the reasons is because I've been in Christianity and been learning and feeling the protective vibe. <laughs> from God. Thanks for the protective vibe, God. <laughs> Sounds so chill. But seriously, I realize that everything bad that has ever happened in my life selalu ada hikmahnya. Dan kalau bukan Tuhan, siapa lagi yang melakukan dan menjaga aku selama ini dari aku bayi sampai sekarang. Jadi, dari mindset yang aku dapatkan, aku tuh jadi kayak lebih tenang. Jadi, aku masuk ke situasi apapun berasa lebih tenang karena sekarang tuh udah ada Tuhan yang bisa menjaga aku. Jadi, bukan aku sendiri yang menjaga diri sendiri. That was one of the things that made me feel very anxious, I think, because in Buddhism, I still do believe in good karma and bad karma, but in Buddhism, it was solely based on that. And so I always felt like I had to be responsible for my own actions. Whereas now, it's like an added factor, right? I feel like there is a greater being out there that loves me and is always taking care of me. So from there, I feel like I can pray to God, I can always have someone to depend on. But ada lagi yang nanya, udah pernah ngobrol? Belum sama Tuhan, ya. Pernah ketemu belum sama Tuhan? 
experience. I don't know how people like meet with God. You know how like some people in their testimonial, they're like, I close my eyes and like God was there. I haven't like felt that tea. But maybe one day, but I don't think it has to be so directly a visual. I feel like you feel it in everyday little Yeah, everyday decisions or yeah, it's everyday like... things that happen to you. You just gotta like yep. You know, sometimes I'm in, in this situation for a reason, you know. And sometimes I'm tested at the situation, you know. And that's when we feel God is around, usually. Mm. Can we look more in love? <laughs> Bro. So that is all. <laughs> so that is all for today's religion video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Just friends. Just friends. Thanks, bro. Thanks for bro. everything. Thanks, sis. Hey, don't be sis. I already disgusting. Uh, tea. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my channel and our couple channel that is inactive. <laughs> you want to subscribe? Go right ahead, bro. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Guys, lucu banget kan? Baju aku collab aku dengan Cotton Ink. Lihat deh belakangnya ikatan kayak gitu. Cute. Terus dalamnya tuh kayak lime green gitu. Kemitraan Mad Coco.